Hey there friends, thanks for checking in at the range now and we're going to do a torture test with the Sky CPX3 and 380. Now I reviewed this gun a couple weeks ago. I enjoyed it. It was a nice shooting gun and it performed very well. I put 100 rounds through it. Today we have 500 rounds loaded up, ready to go. Well, five mags loaded up and ready to go. And we're just gonna see how the CPX-3 handles them. Now, a little bit about this gun. This is a new release from Sky. A little under a three inch barrel. It's got the Roebuck quad lock, which locks up uh, in four different areas. So uh, I, I guess that's impressive. It seemed impressive when I was at the range. They slimmed down the grip a little bit. It is a hammer fired gun with a double action trigger pull, three dot sights. We've got 500 rounds here. We're just gonna shoot and I'm gonna pull the trigger. I've got Nathan back here. He's going to, we're gonna introduce him. We're gonna show you the ammo and then we're just gonna get this thing going. And once we get going, there will be no cut scenes. Hey, what's up guys? I'm Nathan. I'll be loading for the firearm guy today. Uh, you can follow me on Instagram at Snowflake Free Zone. I run a political page over there. We post a bunch of political content and memes here and there. Uh, go check it out. All right, here we go. Five mags loaded up. A whole bunch of rounds ready to go. I'm not necessarily going to be target shooting. This is simply a function test to see how well the CPX-3 runs. Nathan, are you ready? Yep. Nathan's ready. I'm ready. So let's go. And we have a jam. It looks like it's the mag. One thing I noticed was these mags on loading them, some were nose diving. All right, one mag down. And another nose dive from the mag. That was good. Another mag down. Another mag down. This gun's gonna get hot. It's gonna get dirty. So far, not bad. Couple nose dives with the mag, but not too bad. Well, wow, that's a seven inch target right there. Some of the cases are quite sporadic, but they're firing. I hit the target here. All right, what's that, 50 rounds? That's uh, almost at 100. That was 50. All right, so this is the first mag going to 60 rounds. And rabbit. All right. It's harder than you oh, think yeah. it is. You know, loading mags all, you know, one after another. I got the easy part. Yeah, it's running. That mag is one load. All right. We're going to keep this going. One of the things that I noticed is that uh, the first couple had a couple uh, nose dives in the mag. Not a gun issue. It was a mag issue. Well, ultimately, it's a, a sky issue but it seemed to have resolved itself. Let's see if that continues as we continue on. Uh, on my range review, people were saying that the ejection was sporadic and I didn't necessarily notice it, but now I'm noticing it and it's fine, you know, but I do feel some of them coming back at me. Some are going every other direction, but it's firing fine. The same way that it did when I shot it at at the range a couple weeks ago. Here we go, another mag. A rabbit. All right. About 12 yards away. That was 100 rounds. That was 100? That was 100. All right, so we're down 100. I can feel the gun heating up quite a bit. And it's still cracking out. You're doing a good job, Nathan. That rabbit. The rabbit's a, a thin target. It's kind of long, but it's thin, so that the, the shot has to be 
pretty precise. And I am just tagging this thing shot over shot. Uh oh, what do I got going on here? Okay, the slide did not lock back that time, but it did fire all the rounds in the mag. Let's try some one handed here. Little stove pipe. Let's shoot at the dirt. And there we go. I'll just shoot at the dirt here. Okay, that time the slide did not lock back, but it fired. Slide did not lock back. Oh, they're emptying. Uh, they're, they're emptying one after another. I got a failure to eject. I hit the dirt here. At that time, it did lock back. Do you have any idea what number we're on? Uh, about one one fifty. One fifty. All right. Just about uh, one fifty. I'll just go to the dirt here. Two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, ten. And it locked back. I can look at the uh, feed ramp. I can see that it's getting charred up pretty good. But we knew that would happen. Dirt. And there we go. All right, so far, whoa, there goes. <laughs> I had another camera set here. The wind just blew it over. So we have just this camera now, but we're gonna keep going. Sky CPX3, so far performing. It's eating these up. We'll keep it going. All right, eat through that bag. And, okay, it had a case. Stuck in there, but I shook it out. That's 200 right there. All right, so we're, we're 200 down, CPX3, still cranking them out. I think I mentioned I had 100 rounds through this gun prior to this. So if this makes it through all 500 rounds, that would be a total of 600 rounds through the CPX3. Dirt. All right, we got a stove pipe there. That was that, ooh, this barrel is hot. All right, so I didn't clear that very well. The gun is clear now. And I'll reinsert that round. All right, took care of that. We're making our way, guys. Slide did not lock back, but ate up all those rounds. Dirt. No problem. These last rounds don't want to look. This thing is really hot to the touch as, as you could expect. One of the things I noticed is that on certain mags, the slide did not lock back, but it is feeding all those couple stove pipes here and there. Very dirty barrel, feed ramp, everything else, but it's still firing. Dirt. And slide did not lock back, but fired all 10 rounds. Let's see if we can, most of the time I've been slamming the mag home and dropping the slide. Boy, that is warm. And there we go, eight through that mag, no problem. Uh, dirt. Nice. CPX3 is performing, guys. It's hot, it's dirty. But it is working. I did clean it prior to doing this. I had 100 rounds through it, and then I... I felt like I... I felt like I was on target there, but I missed a couple. I came here, I said I wasn't gonna shoot at targets, but I find myself shooting at the targets, which is quite normal. Dirt. There it goes, lock that one back. 
We're probably approaching close to 300, eh? I think after these next two mags, that's two. Yeah, 200 after these next two mags. You sure? Because I'm looking at... Nope, 300, you're right. Okay, so we're at 300 right now? Yeah, no, yep. we're not to be. Or we're just shy of 300 rounds. All right, CPX-3 still cranking them out. I'd like to trigger on the CPX-3 a little more than the CPX-2. I don't know if they made a change to it, but maybe it's the thinness of the grip. They thinned down the grip a little bit, and maybe that robot quad lock makes a difference, but I seem to shoot this gun a little bit better, and I find it to be more comfortable with a rabbit here. And the slide did not lock back with all rounds fired. Yep, camera fired, double action. I can't remember what the trigger pull poundage was, but I would say between seven and eight pounds. That would be my guess. There we go. I find uh, you know, I can stack that trigger a little bit. Pull that hammer back right until I'm ready to fire. And then put a little extra pressure on. And then we have a little bit of the stove pipe there. Let's see if I can do a better job this time. Just release that. And nope, that was... There's an extra round there. There we go. So we're approaching... 350. 350 rounds. CPX-3 is still going pretty strong. Let me get recentered here. That seven inch target from 12 yards is not an easy shot, but I'm hitting it. Here it is right here. There it is. CPX-3, still get it done. You get tired? These mags are one of the other. Okay, so the mags are, so the, the, the rounds are jumping around a little bit in the mag. Okay, we'll just use the other mags. The uh, mags are taking a beat in two catches. All right, so a couple rounds got stuck in the mag. We'll have to disassemble this mag to, uh, to get the rounds out. I'm sure it's a spring. Well, I know it's a spring issue, but uh, we'll get it done. So we won't have a true 500, but hopefully we'll have close. So far, uh, the gun itself is performing okay. A couple mag issues, a couple stove pipes, a couple bad shots, a couple good shots too. So what is working is getting it done, for the most part. I wish I could show you how dirty this is, but <laughs> I know the camera's not gonna be able to pick it up, but I will tell you, that is a hot barrel. And you can see the, the forend is pretty built up with burnt carbon. You tired? <laughs> yeah, it's next. Yeah, this is a lot. All right, I'll just shoot at the dirt. Some of those are coming back and hitting me. Some are going off to the side. We're gonna have a mess to clean up here. Oh, yeah. Still get it done. Come on. There we go. Knock them out. So if my math is correct, we are approaching 400 rounds. Uh, yes. All right. Give or take. Give or take. 400 rounds. Still get it done. I forgot to mention the ammo that we're using. This is Gecko. It's called uh, 9 millimeter Browning Court 380 Auto. All right, we have 450 rounds of this and then 50 rounds of Federal target loads, both 95 grain 380 Auto. Okay, brown, 9 millimeter Browning Court Gecko. Anything like this guys this is new for me and I think it's new for sky is it new for you Nathan oh yeah my arms get a little bit tired we're almost done uh, we'll go right here I think we're 
we're gonna be after that we'll be close to wrapping this up dirt looks like we're running out of the gecko and then we're gonna have the federal Ooh. Ooh. that case landed on my neck That one ate it. This guy's still performing, guys. We are down to our last 50 rounds. This is federal target loads. All right. Ate that up. What do you suppose that round count is? Uh, we're just over 400. Over 400. Well, actually, we're over, over 450. 40, just over 450, yes. Okay, so we got about 40 rounds left. And then we can definitive, definitively say that the CPX3 Ate them all, minus two or three rounds stuck in one mag. Dirt. This guy's still performing, guys. Mag did not lock back, but it did eat those rounds. Dirt. Once again, slide did not like back, but it did eat all those rounds. Everything is, uh, is functioning. Barrel's hot, accuracy off a hair. I'm still getting it done. CPX3, that's performing. Last bit. That's it. There's eight in there. There's, eight. There, there are eight rounds in here. That means there are two that are jammed in that mag yep. in which the spring is stuck. All right, the last eight rounds. If it makes it through these eight rounds, the Sky CPX3 ate up 498 rounds of 38 or 380 ACP. And it did. So there it is, guys. Give it up for Nathan. <laughs> Nathan, thanks for your help. CPX3 torture test. I I think the CPX3 did well. It did not break, okay? Everything still functioned fine. A couple stove pipes, a couple times the slide did lock back, but it did fire 498 rounds. Yeah. 498 rounds continuously, and I believe if I had another couple hundred rounds, it would still do that. This thing is dirty, it's very hot, but it did perform. And this was the first time I've done a torture test like this, and the Sky CPX3, I think, did well. What do you think? It did great. I think it did great. Yeah. All right, for a, for a gun that doesn't cost a lot of money at all, this thing sure performed well at the range and with this torture test. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching, and you guys be safe.